Good morning, Trick Glass. Um, do you like the way I have the light on myself here, sort of focusing in on things? Um, um, today's today's um, topic of this video is exactly what you have to do for the homework today. That's going to be the title of it or something like that because I'll forget the words. We're going to convert from radians to degrees. We know how to do that already, okay? Um, and I will be converting negative 75 degrees by taking it times pi over 180. And yes, this is taking two. I messed up just a minute ago. And 5 goes into both of these and leaves negative 15 over 36 pi. And 3 goes into both of those and we get negative 5 pi over 12. We have done that before. We need to do that again. That is not the main topic of this lesson. Here's the main topic. Use the unit circle to find the exact value of the sine of 120 degrees. Okay, here we go. Exactly what you have to do today. 30, 60, 30, 45, 60, 90. We add 30 more. There we are, it's 120. Always, we've done this, down to the x-axis, over to zero, zero, complete the triangle. And in here, if you would look, we went 30 more, but our angle is going to be right in there. So that's 30 degrees, that would make that 60 degrees right there. It's going to go now. Across from the 60 is the square root of 3 over 2. Across from the 30 is 1 half, and it'll be negative 1 half, and I'll write this now bigger. And we are going back 1 half, and we are going up the square root of 3 over 2. And you've known this for a while. This is cosine. This is sine, asking for the sine of 120. So let me repeat. 30, 45, 60, 90, 120. Complete the triangle. There is our angle, and you'll notice that this 60 degrees here goes in here. The short side is a half, negative because it's going back. Or 3 over 2, that's 1, which is cool. And the cosine sine asking for the sine, and there it is. Oh, all right. Using the reference angle, it's the same thing, reference angle and, and unit circle. So I'm going to have to convert this. So I'm going to go 180 over pi. The pi's go... That goes 45 times. It becomes 315 degrees. Here you go. This is what you do today. 30, 45, 60, 90. There's 180. There's 270. 300, 315. There is 315 right there, just like we've always done up to the x-axis, back to 0, 0. There's our angle. Say if that's 45 degrees, but that's not our triangle, from here, that 45 degrees goes in there. It's a 45-45 triangle. That's root 2 over 2. That's root 2 over 2. And it's negative. So we have over root 2 over 2 and down root 2 over 2. So our 45-45 triangle. We want to find the sine. We go cosine. We go sine. The sine is root two, negative root 2 over 2. The cosine is root 2 over 2. Remember, tangent is sine over cosine, so it could be thought of as negative root 2 over 2 over root 2 over 2, which is, my goodness, negative 1. That's exactly what you do today.